this is I am Mark Three, and welcome back to the fourth facility, as I have decided to call this place, on Factoria. I've expanded my iron production a little bit more, so it's actually still rolling along nicely, and I have just placed my very first factory. So yes, I'm going to go for automation so I can get assembly machines rolling, so I can already begin producing stuff in this particular time frame. I just need to dump the research packs because I'm having to make those by myself as it stands. So, you know, stuff. <laughs> I'm saying stuff a lot. I don't know why. It just seems to be, um, it's a catch-all word kind of thing. But as you can see, I've got plenty of iron plate even with the production going on and making that because I've f further expanded my iron production in the last couple of minutes since uh, the previous video. Yes, I do still take a couple of minutes break between videos usually, just to rest my voice and maybe do a little bit of something that needs doing kind of thing. Three stacks, I think that'll be fine. Can I make a new drill? Yes, I can. I can make two new drills. Excellent. So yeah, this is my f basic production setup that's actually starting to roll along now quite satisfactorily. I've just put in the extra two furnaces on the end to catch up with some excess production that I had not resolved. But they have pretty much caught up with things now, so it's now operating at maximum output. And yep, power supply is still okay. Fuel is burning down faster, so I do need to get organized on my coal extraction routines before too much longer is allowed to elapse more than anything else. So come on, give me automation. I'm just running around gathering lots and lots of iron plates. I've already got 325 already. This is going great. Another 19 copper. I need to get the copper plates production actually rolling as well, so that is something to do. Let's see. Give me uh, six of these, please. Yes. Should I put it here? I don't know, it's a bit close to that lake. I don't want to hamstring myself. Ooh. You know, it's not going to be a problem. I'm just going to be such logistics so I can build a tunnel. <laughs> That's fine. Now, how do I want this? Um, I could put it there. That would be equal. But I want to actually put it there. So that's one, 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 one. So that will be... The next row will be here as the best possible. But here will give me a little bit of wiggle room if I want to try and get something past. So this will be my first full-fledged copper production line, like that. Excellent. Yes, that'll do. Get a whole mass form of iron plates. Yep, iron plates up the wazoo. Just going to make some drills now so I can actually get some more coal being produced. Because I've only got the two burner drills actually working up here, and they've been doing okay, but I need more. I don't want the drills, I actually want the power poles so I can hook it all up. Like so, yep. I did actually give my machine enough logistics, didn't I? 20, no I didn't, okay. I need to make another 10 packs while I'm at it. But no time for that. First I've got to pick up all of this stuff. Grab, grab, grab. Yes, give me all of your coal. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to start mining that. Right. First row is here, second row is here. One. Is it going to come out the other side? I think it... No, it's got to come this way, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, like this? Yeah, like that. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out where to put the drills kind of thing. For now, it's going to be a straight line, but as soon as I get tunnels, I can start improving that. So, there. There we go. Make coal for me. I demands it. Oh, you're making other stuff. Fine. I also need two inserters. I can need a chest which I can just pop down there. No, not there. Why am I about there? Okay. Should I leave the... In no, I, I won't use the burners anymore. I'll just pack those away. I do need to go and do some research maintenance though. Hmm. I don't need to gather some... Yeah, I thought so. Things are actually running out of fuel down here, so I'm just going to dump coal into those. 
Yeah. Right. Focus, Aiden. Focus. Refuel that, so that will keep rolling. Excellent. Put down an inserter. Put in another inserter. Build a whole bunch of conveyors. There we go. Let's see, I'll go straight past it here. So, yep, that's no problem at all. Don't need any more, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. I'm still well in advance of where I got to before. Hmm. I need a drink. <laughs> there. Dry throat. Ooh, okay, power plant is not enough. Right. I need to get another boiler and drop that into position as soon as possible. Like so. Easy peasy peasy. Done. All done. And I am sorry, I really must go and get something to drink. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, apologies for that. It's just, um, hmm. Really, really dry throat means I struggle to talk because I'm still trying to get o getting over a um, an adverse reaction earlier th this week. I think keep thinking it's gone, but then I get this odd tickle and it's like, nope, you've still got it, boy. And it's kind of annoying. I'm not even sure what it is. I'm just glad I'm still able to talk, to be honest. Though I'm sure that um, you guys aren't so glad about that, you know. If this is me we're talking about, you don't want to listen to me. I mean, if you, maybe you do, but you're not saying if you do. Uh, no offence. <laughs> yeah, just a bit more coal. But yes, my immediate focus right now is going to remain keeping everything operational. And getting more copper, because that is actually what I'm running short of right now. Yeah, give me, give me some. Give me some. Give me more copper. There we go. How is my tech doing? That should be enough to finish logistics, so that'll be fine. I just need to start making stuff. I made six of those, that's fine. Now, the reason I was spacing out these particular production sites is because I wanted to get a second line coming back down them, which would carry the finished product out of the uh, entire area. So I'm just going to do that now, effectively. As soon as I get some reds out. Yeah, five reds, that should be fine. Though I do need to actually get coal to start coming in too, so that's... Oh, no, 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 stupid, stupid. Jeez. All that talk of being faster and not getting sidetracked, and guess what? I got sidetracked. Haha. -ha. Yes. <clears throat> Fear me. Because that is apparently what I do. Um, yes. The reason I went hunting for extra supplies and things was because I wanted to actually get the materials to start the production of conveyors. Yes. How do I... Oops. Oh, thank you. Logistics. Perfect timing. Right. Conveyors. I want... I worked out um, my preferred conveyor factory layout, so I just need to, you know, apply it, basically. I'll apply it over here. Yeah, this seems good. He says as he puts it in the wrong place completely, so yes. Four of those. Since this is initial production, I'm not going to bother putting down the rest of the factory chain. So it's just going to be like that, and it just needs supplying with plain old raw iron. That should do it, yep, okay. Just needs to connect it to the power grid, like that. I've got a couple of... did I even make those reds? I did not. Fine. Anyway, yeah. Let's pull up this coal laying system, and just put it all like that. No, wait, I did make the reds and I put them down. <laughs> Jeez, I am losing track so fast, aren't I? Okay. This is going to be automatic production for conveyors, and I am not going to mess things up. The biggest problem that uh, my previous factory faced was... Well, 
arguably it was the aliens. There's no doubt there that the aliens played a huge hand in everything that happened to it. But the thing that actually killed my previous base was twofold. First off, it was its own internal layout. It was just too inefficient with resources. It was too distributed. It could not supply its own repair systems or anything like that. So replacement turrets couldn't be delivered. And walls collapsed and all that good stuff. There we go. So that's one factor. And the other factor is... Well, inevitably, me. Yes. I count myself as a factor in the previous base's failures. Um, let's call it... Well, since I've decided to dub this one Facility 4, let's call that one Facility 3, shall we? Yes, that sounds okay. Facility 3 failed because I was completely inept in managing it. I kept waiting and not doing things, so I did not actually get production up and running to a reasonable standard in any kind of good time scale. And that was the biggest problem it had entirely. And it's entirely me. So, since I am insisting on involving myself in this entire project... How's my power supply doing? Okay, I do need another steam engine quite soon though. Since I'm insisting on involving myself in this entire project, that means I've got to try and manage myself and get the speed up so that my base will not suffer from having me in it. As a result, when I get defensive production going, half of the resources will feed straight into it. Yes, half of the resources will feed straight into production of turrets and ammunition. That means it'll be the first splitter to be involved and hopefully that will allow the base to actually maintain itself. Sort of. Um, speaking of distracting, I never set this thing to build. So yes, there, there's something else that I didn't do. Hmm. I'm going to need blues definitely for this, so yeah, I'll make blues. I'll also have to set up automatic production of other things as well, but um, that will come in a little bit. First off, I've got copper. Copper, 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 copper. Lots of copper. Excellent. Now, there is a slight problem here. Copper and stone are mingled together. Copper and iron are also really close together. So there's going to be some um, co-mingling of resources, shall we say. Hmm. I'm going to have to do something about that. But that will come later. For now, it is mine. Mind and extract and dig and produce and just get my basic facilities rolling. Okay. So, one row there. One, two, three. Yeah, two like that. That's fine. That's a good start. Hmm. Another eight, that's fine. Oh, might as well... Actually, I might as well just pull these up now. I don't need any additional just at this moment. So I'm just going to dump the rest of this coal into my stone production down here. Leave you chugging away. And just start laying. Like that. Excellent. Now, I will feed you with power. Eat up, my pretties. And what the heck is... Oh, <laughs> right, yes, of course. I need more. Three, that should be five. That should be another two of those. Yeah, that should do. Perfecto. Load it with uh, coal like that. Okay. I've got the production here, so I can actually get these things assembling faster. Let's replace those. There we go. Is that full speed? Yeah, that's that's full speed as far as level 1 factories are concerned. And, and I've got tons of transport belts already coming out, so excellent. This is going really well so far. Now then, I need to get a coal supply down here, so I'm going to put it down this way. Like that, like that. 
Okay, this um, basic power plant will need replacing sooner rather than later, it looks like. Whoops, you know what I forgot to do? Boilers! We've got four boilers to three steam engines. Will that produce max power? Yes, it will for those. Okay, that should be okay. I just need a splitter and a tunnel. Because I need to connect up to this. That's going to be the copper route, like that. Yes. Like so. Yep. Oh, I'm going... Oh, I'm, I need another tunnel. <laughs> Fine. Okay. This will reverse the direction of things. But that cannot be helped. Not really. I'm going to need another tunnel, aren't I? Yes, I am. Fine. At least these tunnels are actually really easy to make, so... There's not a problem there. That'll feed the copper. Put the splitter onto it here to separate into two lines. Then that'll feed coal straight into that. And that'll feed coal straight into that so that this entire system will be fueled up. Perfect. I now just need to get the coal off the end of this line so that it's not clogging the thing up. There we go. Excellent. Yep, running smoothly. No problems at all. Hmm. This is actually going quite nicely. Except that <laughs> I had these inserted the wrong way round, didn't I? Yes. Stupid. Oh well, I'll just keep calling myself stupid a lot. Maybe it'll improve performance, but um, probably not. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't count on it. Not really. Oh, I need another tunnel. Excellent. 265 transport bells. That is going really well, actually. Okay. Let's just get a transport belt here. Yeah, there. And then I can just feed the copper down from over here. How far is doing it in the right line, wouldn't it? Yes. Right, okay. Second episode in Facility 4. And we have automatic copper production already getting started up. Excellent progress. Very, very good. Now I just need to keep this uh, momentum up, really. That's the biggest concern, isn't it? But since I'm now equipping the facility to unload the copper ore it makes straight away, like that... And I won't be messing around with conveyors that much, because I've got a facility already set up for it. This means that um, I can actually proceed in the next video to get uh, research automation starting up, you know, immediately, effectively. Hang on, what's going on there? Production to cons... Uh, am I short? Uh, no, I am not. Okay, I was just a bit worried there. My power plant is still enough for the moment, but I'll just very quickly slap in an upgrade to the limit of what it can do. Pull that power line. Drop another one there. Drop in an additional engine. Because I can't do any more without actually pulling things up and moving them. Which I'll do probably in the next couple of episodes. The way things are going. There we go. Excellent. Now, mines. I need more mines. Give me more mines. I need more coal. Hmm. No, that, that storage is actually filling up really nicely. Yeah, that, that looks fine, actually. And let's get... Um, let's build quickly a bit of coal here. You've got, you give me a drill. You can put one there. Okay. Just I'll just put it straight there. Easy peasy peasy. Oh, that's something else I do need, actually. I need to get optics, but that's um, for next video when I actually get my research kicking off with red production. But yes, this will keep me running quite nicely. This is Iron Mark III. Thank you for watching me with Facility 4. And I hope to catch you next time for more Surviving in Factorio. 
and less mistakes and foul ups. So I've already made a couple here, so you know. <laughs> I'm not sure how reliable that'll be. See you later. <laughs>